This is being filmed in a completely different location again. This is the student flat where I'm staying while I'm working in Edinburgh on the Royal Edinburgh Military to Two. And while I was here, I noticed that Pound World was closing down. There's one fairly local, so I thought, let's see what they've got. They had these interesting lamps. These are LED uh, GU9 style, G9 should I say, style capsules. And what's really interesting is that they are literally just the glass, well, or quartz, maybe probably glass. I, I don't think they'd make them out of quartz, the temperature. But uh, they have this ceramic cob in the middle and no visible electronic circuitry. It all seems to be under the gel phosphor. And when you look at it, it's got uh, the ceramic piece inside has the two electrodes for the connections. And then it's got sort of stripes of the gel loaded with the phosphor to actually emit the light. And when you look from the end on, it's got those on both sides. I don't know if they're stuck on both sides, though, because I'm only seeing tracks on one side. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Uh, smash one of these open and sort of scrape away at it uh, and see what I can find. So uh, rather than uh, torture you with uh, the time that takes, uh, and because it's going to take a wee while to reverse engineer this, I shall pause momentarily and I'll be back soon. It has been smashed and thoroughly scraped to remove the uh, the gel loaded, the phosphor loaded gel. And disappointingly on one side of the, the ceramic, uh, there's nothing there's no circuitry it's all on one side so i wonder how even the illumination is i've got another one of these still in the packet i'm gonna to have to see if i can find a lamp holder i can fit it in but unfortunately this particular place i'm staying all the light fittings are sort of integrated led fixtures instantly you may notice uh, I, I managed to give myself two blood blisters in one go and one particular task take me a par can and uh, because the hardware is two different sizes out of the uh, the uh, spanner slipped and uh, smacked my finger and gave me two blood blisters at once. That's that's even, that is new for me, so you can teach an old dog new tricks. So here's the uh, what it looks like inside. It's a piece of ceramic, all the circuitry is on one side. And it's quite interesting because it's got two diodes here, and then a chip, which is current regulating chip, and then two more diodes here. Then all the, so that's for my bridge rectifier, and then all the LEDs are actually wired in one series string. And it's quite interesting because there's seven, seven, six, seven, seven. I'm not sure why they did that. And when you uh, take a closer look at this, well, let's actually, let's draw this bit out because this is the interesting bit. The main thing to note here is that uh, the AC track is coming up to one end of the rectifier. This AC track is coming up to the other end. And you'll notice it passes underneath these uh, sort of basically uh, directly mounted on board uh, diodes. Um, and then there's this other track that skips round the full uh, circumference again and it uh, connects one side of the rectifier to the other and there's a reason for that. Uh, let's draw that out in fact. So let's do it this way uh, and I'll just stand up and see if I'm in shot. I'm sitting at a bench at the moment so uh, okay that looks pretty good. So what we have, we have a diode, another diode, the current regulating chip, which is quite a big chip. And I'm guessing this is just an active component that varies the current according, it, it's pre, obviously just preset with a current and then it acts, it limits the current, it acts like a variable resistor to keep it that constant current. It might even have thermal protection built in. So then we have another diode and another diode and these are just little square chips mounted on the laminate, the ceramic, with uh, just uh, a little contact on top. So the mains uh, supply comes in and it comes up and it goes under the first diode. It actually goes under and appears the other side like this. So that's the AC coming in. Uh, the same happens on the other side. Let's uh, make sure I'm still in the shot here. I've not really got much to guide me where I am. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll just nudge it up a tiny little bit. And the idea of a bridge rectifier is that you have four diodes. So uh, I'll draw the full bridge rectifier here. And all the diodes point towards the positive connection. So that's the positive and they point away from the negative connection, so they are still all pointing towards the positive. So 
So that's the negative. There's the AC input. And what's actually happening here is these little diode chips, well, let me actually prove something that these are diodes. Let's bring in the dinky little meter here. A little handy travel meter. And if I probe onto the circuit board, so let's uh, test the track first that's going up there. Whoop, see if I can get a connection. Whoop, the, these are tiny connections here. Okay, so that's continuity. Let's go on to the middle of the diode. Nothing, so let's uh, reverse the polarity. And let's connect to here again. And touch the middle of the diode. And there it is. I'm getting a forward voltage of 0 0.6, which is exactly 0 0.6, which is uh, the forward voltage of a silicon diode. So that's what these are. So what they've got here is they've got the one leg of the AC connecting to the back of one diode and then to the top with a little pad coming out here and a wire link onto the front of that diode. And the same happens the other side. So you've got the two pairs of diode, that's these two AC connections. And then under these diodes, they've got a track which also goes under this component. So it's one big track. Uh, not sure the polarity of that. I could check that. Uh, but the other part of the bridge rectifier uh, is actually a track that goes like this. This is the track that goes right round the outside and comes back again. And that's actually connected to one end of the LED string. I've just drawn that completely squint. It doesn't matter. So there's a little wire bond going off and onto that. And that is, I think that's the positive end of the rectifier. I think this might be the negative, but I, I'd have to check that out. Uh, let me think. That uh, I, that was negative to positive. That might be the positive. I'd, I'd actually have to think about that for a while. The other connection, if I go back to the original drawing, uh, to the LEDs, comes from this current sensing chip. I'm not sure what that is. All the work is done by this chip. It's going to be acting like a sort of variable transistor, a transistor that operates in its sort of linear region to limit the current. Um, but that's how they've done it. They've got the four diodes from the bridge rectifier, they've got the current limited component in series, and then they've got a little pad off at the side and a little wire bond jumps onto that and then goes to the LEDs, which then zigzag all the way down until it comes up onto a pad that is here, a bit of track, uh, that connects to the other end. And if I look at the original doodle here, you can see there's the current uh, regulating chip, there's the track with the little bond that comes from that, and then goes through the LEDs, runs through the LEDs, returns on this track here, runs through these LEDs, returns on this track here, all the way along, and then comes onto this common on one leg of the sort of DC from the bridge rectifier. So that's uh, that's how the lab works. It's very neat. It's very uh, heavily integrated. I'm not sure how that's going to look uh, in terms of the evenness of illumination from one side to the other. If you look at the other side of the, if you look at both sides, one is a darker gel, and the other the other's lighter. So it may be trying to compensate uh, and uh, convert some of the light that's shining through the uh, the ceramic material into a sort of at least some decent level of light. But I'd think that most of the light is going to be fired from one side in this. So that's quite neat. Uh, I bought a few of these because I thought it was quite interesting. Not sure how long they'll last. Uh, but it's very, very neat indeed.